What you doing? Nothing. Now there's the sign for our exit. I want you to ease to the left. No, not yet. Still a mile off. I'll give you the word. But you just did that. No, that wasn't the word. I was just letting you know the word was coming. That was the pre-word word. Oh, don't bother the boy. I'm not. I'm teaching the boy. I think I need to get proper lessons. Eyes, Eyes on, on the road. road. You can't be doing nothing. If you were doing nothing, you'd be dead. Because even when you're asleep, you're sleeping. And that's not nothing. So, Eddie, you looking forward to spending some time in London? Don't know, Auntie Lee. I usually get black snot in London. Well, we're looking forward to having you, aren't we, Noah? Mmm. And I'm sure it'll be more fun than staying with your gran, having another couple of boys around. Yeah, it was fun. Until she got sick. Yes, it was quite a shock. Nervous exhaustion. Mum was always so energetic, I can't see how it happened. Nor me. Change lanes. Ah. Mirror, signal, manoeuvre. Yeah. And smoothly move across. I'd better take my pills as soon as we get home. If I don't take my pills, I could even maybe die, maybe. Don't you worry, Mum and I packed everything. Hope I survive London. <laughs> With a sub story. Well, there's nothing really wrong with it. Just. What does it mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? Well, there's always a point, and I just don't see the point. Hey, you know how I work. Hang on a sec. Indy, there's not anything wrong, is there? Wrong? With what? Well, you've never been too busy to work on the comic before. We're buddies, right? Right. We said that, right? Yeah. So, buddy, I've got stuff to do. Duties expanded at work, more responsibilities, stuff like that. You get that, right? Why don't I think the story through, come up with an ending, and what if we meet up in a couple of hours or something? If you don't want to work on this one, that's totally cool. I mean, it's not like you've been drafted into the army. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What's up with her? Were you chatting? Eddie? Yeah. Who are you chatting to? What's this comic thing? Can I have a look? No. I'm sick, do you know that? I'm starting to realise it. I'm susceptible to sickness. That means I always get sick. I'm not allowed to run around outside or my pulse rate goes up too high and I get sick because I'm sick. You said, excuse me. Don't touch a thing. See? Perfect sense. Thousands of miles away from each other, there for each other, and no messy complications. And sure, maybe I thought it could be more, but when I found out he didn't, I handled it with my usual grace. We're buddies. You can go now. You didn't see it coming. After your stupid speech, you didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. You should have seen it coming. Seen what coming? It. What it? The it. It, it. What are we talking about again? Indy. Oh, yeah. You should have seen it coming. What? Your stupid let's be friends speech. Girls don't want to be friends. Girls have friends. They're called other girls. Listen to me. You told her you want to be friends. And now she's suddenly too busy to work on the comic with you. Am I the only one who's smelling this particular aroma? Look, Indy wouldn't lie. But you're lying. It's all a kind of fantasy. Exactly. You're lying. You're both lying for your teeth. We're not lying. We're fabricating. You're lying. She's lying. So what makes you think she's telling the truth about being busy? I'm telling you, she's mad about the friends thing. Check it. Look, Indy's not a liar. 
And I think I know her well enough to know that whatever she's doing must be important. Don't be a chicken, try our spicy wings. Don't be a chicken, try our spicy wings, sir. Don't be a chicken. What are you looking at? Buzz off, I'm working here. Forget for a sec that you're both lying through your teeth. You're friends, right? Right. And friends trust each other. So do something that lets them know that you trust them, that she's a real friend. You know, that's a good idea. See, women can't resist it when you trust them. Once you fake that, you've got to be eating out your hands. What are you doing out here? It's a nice day. I thought we'd get some... I think so. Sun. You're hiding from Eddie. We are not hiding. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Big sporting heroes driven out of the house by a little kid. You should come see how a real man handles the situation. But, Mum, it's not fair. Why my room? Because you've got the room. And I've established a particular aesthetic with the rest of the house, and I don't want to ruin it. Right, Eddie. Right. Isn't this great? It's a non-allergenic damn pillow plucked from special geese. Usually, though, when Mum leaves with the people, she packs me special sheets, too. But I think she trusts Aunt Elena more than other relatives anyway. <laughs> <coughs> We've got some weird family, but you get used to them. And I'm never in one place for too long. Mum's career. It's fun, except for the getting sick bit. Oh, thanks for the draw, by the way. It's heaps of space for me. I don't really need much space. Stop it. Go to sleep. Well, I can't sleep in this environment. Why not? No way. <coughs> no! <coughs> this is Bevan's room too. He's not going anywhere. Full stop. End of story. Just see if Aunt Lena has a potty. How'd you go, Bevan? <laughs> Good night. Oh, so you're staying up then? Good night. So, Max, friends means you get to keep me waiting around for nothing. Thanks a lot, buddy. If you do oh. that every night, I'll get tired and I'll never get to sleep and, and I'll get sick. You don't want me to get sick, do you? Not unless it's fatal. What? What? Sorry, there's been a change in my situation. A change? What sort of change? Well, let's just say I might have some trouble getting online for a while. Max, are you sick of me or something? No way. Look, we're friends, right? And, and friends trust each other, right? What's this? Open it and see. The access codes to the website. You're surprised? Surprised? It's like you're in the sanctum. Yeah. And you're the only other one that's welcome there, any time. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. No, don't worry about it. Just when you've got your music happening, go in and add it. And in fact, if there's anything about the stories that you don't like, you just tell me. You're my friend, Indy. I trust you. Thank you. Sorry. I've got to go. 
You woke me up with all that clack, clack, clacking. I was just trying to drown out that whist, whist, whistling. That's so unfair. I have a sinus condition. What were you doing? Watching me? No. What were you doing? Homework? No, I was talking to someone. In private. Yeah, I know. Indy. You were watching me. No, I wasn't. Then how do you know that? I guessed. Yeah, right. Who's Indy? Is she your secret friend? What are you doing with her? Have you really got your own website? What have you got on it? I'm going to have a shower. Can I have a look at your website? No, it's invitation only. Now, don't touch anything. wasn't that bad. She was just a bit strange. She used to count her false teeth in the morning in case anyone was trying to steal them. Uh, and she was popping them out like this. Oh. Morning. What's this? Oats with warm soy milk. Who? Eddie can't eat normal cereals. He swells up like a balloon when he eats wheat. It also gives me a wind. And I'm lactose intolerant. He can't eat cereal because of his religion. Milk. Yeah. Can't have milk. Because of his religion. Because he's allergic to it. He's allergic to everything. No, well, that's a gross exaggeration. And even if it is true, I think it's only fair to him that we eat what he does. I don't want to hear it. You hear Noah complaining about having to walk Eddie to his new school. And what? Well, what do you expect him to do? Stay home? Eddie, love, do you mind running upstairs and fetching me the large red bath towel on the third shelf in the linen cupboard? And please try not to disturb anything else. It's color coded. Do you mind if I walk? I have asthma. I'm cruel if you want. Noah, that's fine. I got the call from Patricia. The tour's been extended. Oh, how long? Six weeks. Oh. We all have to make sacrifices. Think how I feel. This morning, I found a sock on the floor. Clearly, a sock shouldn't be on the floor. You see me complaining? I'm definitely getting that shed. I really hope this trust thing works with Eddie. I mean, she seemed happy. The fact not good that's going to do me, though, with that little twerk pain her head. <laughs> Are you even listening to me? Yeah, of course. What's the big deal? The big deal is I have no privacy. Yeah, well, he's a little kid. No, I just threaten him. Oh, I can't do that. He's family. I'm besides, he's a squeal. You should have heard the way... <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Look, I'm going to go pick him up from school. Yeah, I join you, but I think I'm in here. What do you think it is about me that girls find so irresistible? Probably the moustache. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for. Everyone's gone home, mate. when it came within 10 feet of him. But he's clean. You make me wash him and clean him and sterilise him. Out! Oh, go on, Bevan, get out. Out. <laughs> so he's home, then? No, thanks to you. <coughs> it's lavender. Mum says it calms my nerves. <coughs> I've had a great day. I'm all right. He never stops. If it's not food, it's vitamins. If it's not too hot, it's too cold. Telly's too loud, telly's not loud enough all day. And the house, just look at the house. He's been here all day. He didn't even make it to class. Next time, make sure he's sitting at a desk before you leave, all right? All right. Sorry, it's not enough. Excuse me? I have lentils to soak. Max, I've done some stuff I think you're going to love. I had a great time doing it. I hope you think it's OK. Catch you later. You deleted everything. Jeez, all I really needed was an ending. An ending to what? Oh, Eddie, <gasps> you're really going to have to stop sneaking up on people. Don't shout. Mum says disapproval gives me hives, especially on my... I'm not shout... shouting. Just stop sneaking up. I have to walk softly. Mum says I'm susceptible to warts on the soles of my feet if I don't. Well, wear a bell or something. I'm only trying to not be in the way. Yeah, well, try harder. <laughs> Go. Oh, you want to 
want to talk to your girlfriend, then. Look, she's not... Please leave. What? Max, the changes. Yeah, the changes. Interesting. You said go for it. You trusted me. You haven't changed your mind, have you? No way. Go for it. Excellent. Wait till you see what I have planned next. No. This is a good idea. Sorry, sorry, did I scare you? No, I always scream when I'm sitting on the computer. <laughs> Good one. Well, the thing with your comic Look, is that... I don't want to know what the thing is. Would you please leave? I I have to brush my teeth anyway. It's been two hours since I last did it, and who knows how much bacteria has gone onto them since then. Nothing compared to what's coming out. OK. So you didn't like it? No! 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 Look, Indy, I know you didn't like the sub story, but it looks like you hate everything about the site, so I'm going to change the access codes and I'll tell you why. Because you see, there's trust. And then there's abuse of trust. Where are you going? Driving lesson. Haven't you already had one today? You can never get enough practice. Oh, it's that little sneak, isn't it? Come on, let's do something about him. We are. We're leaving. Hey, they're running a special kids' marathon all weekend. My favourite fuzzy purple animal show is coming on any minute. Do you want to watch with me? Hey, do you want to get some food? Me and the Marks have got a new job at the burger bar, so a bunch of us are going to get some chips to chuck in there. Do, do you want to come? Oh, can I come? I'll put my slippers on. <laughs> Clive! It's my mum. Sorry, have to go. <sighs> Where's your dad gone? Gone for a driving lesson. Yeah, I'll bet. I'm off for a lie down. You OK? Well? The house is a mess. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. Everyone else runs out at the crack of dawn and doesn't come home till dinner time because they can't stand the smell of lavender. I'm fine. If he wants anything, then... Devon. Oh, get him off! Dog saliva! Do you know that enough dog saliva can actually help you with the allergies? It's a scientifically proven fact. They've it tested off. it. Then again, your allergies actually have to be real in the first place. I'm on to you. You oat-spitting, warty-souled, potty-using, fuzzy purple animal little freak. You pretend to have all these things wrong with you so that everyone has to tiptoe all around you and you have complete control. Well, it stops now. Unless you stop, I'm going to make sure that you need all these things you pretend to need. For real. trying to fit in. No, you're not. You're trying to take over. Yeah, well, you try getting dumped on people all the time. No one likes it. And no one likes me. I just thought that if no one's gonna like me, I may as well get what I want. Don't you ever want to feel like someone wants you sometimes? People want you. You've just got to stop being so... annoying. <laughs> See? I'm good. You're disturbed. Why are you still on the stupid sub story? It's nowhere near as good as your other ones. What would you know about the other ones? What other ones? Have you been to the website? Have I been to the website? Let me think. But it's invite only. You couldn't get past the front page unless. It was you. You found the access codes. They were just sitting there. And I was only trying to make the sub story better. Do you know what you've done? I may have ruined the best friendship I've ever had because of you. I, I 
thought of an ending to the sub story. And that's it. What do you think? That's funny. I told you I was good. My mum's theatrical, you know. And I'm sorry I'm missing up a bit. Yeah, well, it's done now. But I'll fix it. And hopefully things with Indy. Indy's your best friend? Was. Still is, I hope. Anyway, you want to watch me work? No, thanks. I've already done enough work on the computer. And Mum says the EMS aren't good. I just want to play with Bevan. Hey, you got a minute? I suppose. <sighs> I've got an ending to the sub story. It's not done yet, and I need some music. Yeah, well, the web's full of it. Indy, I'm sorry. Me too. But I can't work with anybody who accuses me of sabotage. It was a misunderstanding, I'm sorry. Look, this is hard. If you were here, it wouldn't be, but you're not. That's just it. So all we have is what we say to each other. And if we say that we're friends, then we should act like it. I know. If you didn't like what I was doing, That's then you should just have just... That's just the point. I never got to see any of it. What? It was all deleted. Remember I said that I was being watched? That my situation had changed? Well, we've got ourselves a brand new character to add to the cast. Mm.